Well, you know, personally, I feel outraged. I think this is an um, example of how far the Netanyahu government is capable of going to try to inflict as much pain as they possibly can uh, on the Palestinian in the West Bank, probably for the sole purpose to get them exhausted, tired, to give up in the end. But you know, this is a human tragedy as far as I'm concerned. And there is nothing that anyone can say to justify this atrocity. And you know, I, I just um, think for a moment, if it was me sitting there, living in these conditions, and then you have the soldiers and the tanks and the bulldozers coming to wipe out, to bulldoze my home, to displace my kids, what would I do? How would I feel? It is not merely intensifying hatred and animosity toward the Israelis, but you feel you just want to get up and kill the first person you can, uh, Israeli you can see. We are talking now about every such action when you demolish homes of Palestinians that have been living there many for centuries. But this particular settlement, the village, Palestinian village, Susiya, has been there since 1830. Most of the residents have their deeds from the Ottoman period. And to suggest that they have no right to live there is, is simply um, be, goes beyond the, the, any human capacity to really understand. When in fact, the same time, the Israeli government continued to support settlements in the same area, providing them with all the services and denying this uh, settlement the the Susiya, the Palestinian Susiya, with the basic needs that are required. So so we're talking about complete injustice, and I am glad to see that the international community is condemning it, and I'm glad to see many Israelis also came out in support against that is the demolition. Well, I mean, this is to suggest to you the kind of mindset uh, of these extremist, extremist Israelis have. Uh, you know, for them it is a given that the West Bank is a, an Israeli territory and that the Palestinians have no right to be there. So if the Supreme Court decided to demolish two homes, uh, illegal homes that were built by settlers, uh, so be it. Uh, as far as these members of the Knesset, including the, the education minister, Naftali Bennett, uh, the justice minister, Ayelet Shaked, basically saying, you know, that we will abide by the court decision, but we will continue to build and build and build. I wonder, will they say the same thing about the Palestinians? You have to abide by the high court decisions, but once we demolish your homes, you can come back and build and build again. That's the irony, that's the hypocrisy. And I hope and pray that, that the international community and hopefully the Supreme Court, as they review the situation again, will eventually reject and, and uh, um, overturn the initial decision to demolish Susia.